Hello there, it's Patricia from Pinky's World and today I am working on sketch 8 of Kendra's Care Challenge. So this is number 8 of Card Ch Kendra's Card Challenge 3. That is like a tongue twister for me sometimes. But this one, it's pretty nice, nice wee um, layout. But what you get from your cut papers is just the one piece. Sketch 8, remember to save your numbers for if you're coming back to do more. I actually have one other one planned. I'm going to do a Christmas one of number 3, hopefully. So, anyway, what you get is this lovely piece here. And you know it's uh, Paper C, and my Paper C was the sprinkled uh, design. So I need to cut three bars here. And they're five inches by one, four and a half by three and three quarters, and three and a quarter by half an inch. So this is what I'm using. I have made the back uh, piece, and it measures five inches by three and three quarters. So this is be my backing mat, and I've chosen a colour that falls in here, which is the bumblebee. So that's what I'm going with. Turn my card, of course. And then I have cut the three pieces that I need and I've run them through this wee embossing folder. This is a really old one. I don't even know who it is. Lifestyle Crafts or something. I think a friend gave it to me years ago. So that's what I've used. I went to sort of something that gives a nice wee wavy, like beachy sort of theme because I've gone with a good mad stamp set and used this boy here and I'm going to stamp Relax Your Way. So that's how we're going about it today. So cut your three pieces. The measurements are all there. It says embellishment here. So I've gone with this as my embellishment. So I'm going to start putting the card together and we'll see how everything goes and how it looks. So I am so enjoying these challenges. Um, if you need motivation at all to get you going, if you're stuck in a rut, this is the best thing for you. Just you can use anything you want on it. You don't have to use um, specific papers or anything. You choose from any company, anywhere you want. I happen to just use mostly Stampin' Up. Not all the time, but mostly. As that's my favourite at the minute. But if I come across something I really like, that's what I'll use. So any um, items that you see me using, they will be linked on my blog. And the link is down below um, if you're interested. Otherwise, just follow along. This is the ice cream corner uh, papers, which are unfortunately no longer available. But I had a big pack of them that I wanted to use up. So that's why I have gone with them. And I think they're lovely summery colours. And this is the sprinkle design on the other side of that. So we're just setting all this up the way it is in the challenge sketch here, number eight. And... Uh, be sure and go over to the Facebook page. If you're on Facebook at all, go over because some of the ladies have already posted. Some of them have made them so quickly you wouldn't believe it. So this one, um, according to the sketch, comes right out to the edge of your card, which I think adds a nice wee thing here. But I'm going to put it up slightly. Sort of start that one there and then these will overlap to the point, which is I'm using the point to line me up. So... That's what I'm going with. So I'm going to stick this where I think best suits. Let's say about here. I need to have room for him. I don't want him too high up. So let me scoot down a wee tiny bit. Um, embossing those instead of playing. If anybody knows me or <laughs> you've come through my YouTube channel, you know I like to emboss plain card. I don't like it sitting plain. I just like a bit of texture on it. So this one we're going to line up with that point. Scoot it over so we're nice and straight. So you can use your embossing to line you up so that you are straight. That's right. And that gives us a good wee step value there. Last one. So I should say I punched the wee, um, the using the tailor tag punch, just sliding it in and punching it there, which was handy. So 
So line that one with that point again. Bring it over. Then Boston has made it a wee bit bulky. And I was actually planning to line them all with white as well instead of embossing, but it just was going to be really too bulky for me. So that is that done. This boy is going to sit right here. And I'll raise him up on a few dimensionals. Uh, he's been stamped in memento and coloured with um, blends in the matching colours. And we're just going to plunk him here. It makes a nice wee male birthday card, a summer birthday. Or somebody that has been working hard all summer. I'm just sticking them, it says there, but I'm actually setting them up on top of all those. And then I'm going to put a wee sentiment here. So for the sentiment, what was I going to use? A piece of yellow card, or bumblebee card. And we're going to stamp this. Relax your way, and I'm going to use Memento. Just going to go directly on to the matching bumblebee card. And just centre it there. Relax your way. You could emboss that if you wanted it nice and dark. And I'm going to go in with this punch here. can't remember the name of it. I think it's still available, but I'm not sure as to say it'll all be um, linked on my blog if you're interested. So I'm going to push that, which saves you any hassle of cutting a straight line. And this is just going to sit here, relax your way. Pretty cool card, I'm really pleased with it. The candor, I don't know how she does it, but she comes up with the most amazing sketches ever I, my brain just could not work these out it's so nice to have them ready for you to go chat a wee bit off that so don't put it upside down so we'll just scoot that along the top and a wee bit. Make sure it's straight. And I think that's a pretty neat card. No fuss and bother. Just nice bit of embossing. Manly looking. And it's a perfect match for my sketch. So, number eight done. And I'll catch us all again for number nine. Bye.